Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm a sewing specialist here at Fonts and Porter. In this Quilting Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the really quick blocks in the quilt called Modern Barn Raising. If you'd like to purchase this pattern, please visit our website. Okay, let's look at the quilt behind me here quick. You'll see that it has um, a lot of stripe, uh, fabrics cut into strips and then we've paired it with a blue print and that there is a strong blue square kind of set on point on its tip and then um, kind of a ripple effect out from that. And that's a, typically called a barn raising design or layout. So let's see how we get to that point. We are going to be using two and a half inch pre-cut strips of a great assortment um, of blues, pinks, greens. And then we're going to be pairing with that blue and blue or blue on blue type print as the kind of the focus in this project. So we go through and sort through your two and a half inch strips so that you can make strip sets that have a variety of fabrics in them. You'll need to put six together in a group. So before you start sewing, go through your strip sets or your strips and divide them into groups of six so that you get a variety of colors within each of your strip sets. And remember that like always when you're working with strip sets to as you add each piece to make sure you press as you go to keep your strip set nice and neat and then from that you're going to be cutting 12 and a half um, inch square units from this so go through the pattern see how many you need to cut your 12 and a half inch pieces from your strip sets and then we're going to start creating the what looks like kind of like a triangle square very large triangle square that we can then arrange to make the barn raising pattern. So here I have a 12 and a half inch unit and the 12 and a half inch square fabric that goes with it. And what we're going to be doing is putting them right sides together and we're going to be sewing across to make triangle squares two at a time. So what we need to do is mark across the large square and you're going to have to use a long ruler to get all the way across the block. We are going to mark from corner to corner. You can use your favorite fabric marking tool. And we're going to mark then just a simple line down the center. Try not to pull too hard or distort your fabric. But we're going to mark a line that then you can stitch one quarter inch on either side of that line as you put it together. If you don't feel comfortable trying to figure out where a quarter inch um, on each side of that is, you can actually go in then and draw a quarter inch on each side of that. Just depends on what you feel comfortable doing. Now we're going to pair up the 12 and a half inch strip set block with the one that we've marked our diagonal on. And there is a little thing to think about here. The diagonal needs to go across the block, but you need to place the strip set horizontal to yourself. Not vertical, not this direction, but in this design, it needs to be horizontal to your body. And we're going to be stitching across the block, then a quarter inch on each side of this. I have one already done. And this is a friction pen. And when you iron it, then the, the line goes away. So what I've got here, you can see my strip set is horizontal to my body. Diagonal, both of those are stitched. And then what we need to do is come in the rotary cutter and a ruler. And this is a way to make really quick blocks. This quilt would be easy put together in a weekend. Kind of a modern contemporary twist on a very traditional block. Now you'll notice when I open this up, I have triangle squares of a stripe and a solid. And then you can, you can see how the fabric also will tell you seam allowances need to be pressed toward the blue here. And we have its mate companion here. And then it's basically make the number of units required in the pattern and arrange them according to the diagram and create your version of the modern barn raising. Thanks for joining me today. If you'd like to see more of our Quilting Quickly tutorials, please visit our website. Goodbye.